Welcome to the PAP Setup Guide. By now you will have unpacked and verified that all components are present and in good condition. To continue setup, connect the two USB cables to the Dell laptop, then to the ports in the base of the PAP mannequin. Connect the mannequin's power cable, press the power button on the mannequin, and confirm the green light comes on. To access the PAP software control interface, Double-click the Cardionics PAT icon on the main desktop. The PAT software has two main sections, Sound Select and Lecture Sequence. To select sounds to study, on the Sound Select page, click Select Sound 1 to open the sounds directory. Highlight a sound and double-click to select. To compare sounds, click Select Sound 2. Highlight a sound and double click. You can toggle back and forth between the two by clicking Play 1 or Play 2. Sounds can be heard on PAT using an ordinary stethoscope, a speaker, headphones, or the Simulscope bedside auscultation system. The volume can be altered using the slide bars to the left. The adjusted volume can be saved by clicking on the Save button. To return to a preset volume, Click the Recall button, then use the Reset button to go back to the saved settings. To see a sound's related phonocardiogram or pneumogram on the screen while hearing it, click on one of the circled locations. The trace amplitude can be increased for better viewing or frozen for further study. PAP includes a lesson for every sound, accessed by clicking on the Lesson button. Each lesson has a description of the sound. Lecture sequences can be pre-programmed and instructors may have multiple lectures with different names. To set up a lecture on the Lecture Sequence page, click Create to bring up the Create Lecture page. Enter the instructor's name, then the scenario or lecture name. Next, double-click on a sound number to open the sounds menu. Double-click on a sound title and wait a moment for the sound to fill in the selected sequence. When finished selecting sounds, click Done. To delete a lecture entry, right-click the mouse or select Delete. To begin using your lecture immediately, click Start. You may pause or quit a lecture at any time by clicking Pause or Quit. Access administrative tasks from either the Sound Select page or the Lecture Sequence page by clicking on Enter Test Setup. For first time setup, type PAT123 in the box labeled Name and go PAT in the box labeled Password, then press Enter. Use capital letters as both names and passwords are case sensitive. You should change the name and administrative passwords from the factory default. Click Change Admin Name Password to bring up a dialog. Fill in the name and select a new password. You will be asked to enter the password twice, and the message will confirm that it has been successfully entered. Press Enter and a dialog will appear with the new name. You must log out to complete the password setup. A password is required for instructors to edit lectures or use the Student Assessment Program. To add an instructor, click Change User Accounts and the Select Account page will appear. From the list of instructors, enter the next available number and press Enter. A dialog will appear for entering the new name and password. You must confirm the password by entering twice. The new instructor's name will now appear in the list. On either the Lecture Sequence page or the Sound Select page, click Enter Test Setup. Enter your name, then click Enable Test Mode. To prevent your lecture from being edited, click No in the dialog box of the Test Mode setup. To edit your lecture later, simply open the dialog box again and click Yes. If a lecture is to be used as a test, it must be assigned a test number. To create a test, select a lecture sequence, instructor, and test number, then click Start. Next, choose whether to display a phonocardiogram on the test. 
To quit the test at any time, click Quit Test. When finished, you will still be in test mode, so you must return to the test setup page and enter your name to log out. To review test assignments, click View Summary of Test Assignments for a current list. This concludes setup of tests. If you have any further questions, contact Parkmedics at 800-364-5900.